Hi, I am Dr. Guru Prasad Hosokar, consultant neurologist at uh, Columbia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur. My special interest is uh, Parkinson disease and movement disorders. There are various reasons for a person to have tremors. It can be just physiological. When some normal person stretches uh, the hand and keep it steady over time, you can uh, see some amount of shakingness of the hands. These are called physiological tremors. And this can get exaggerated uh, while uh, you are anxious, you are stressed out or you are on certain medications like for example you are on bronchodilators generally used for bronchial asthma like derifilin or aminophilin. You can have slightly increased tremors. So these are called exaggerated physiological tremors which is very common in a normal individual. But when a person comes with uh, tremors uh, in one-sided tremors, you see tremors in the resting hand where the person is you know, relaxed but still you can have pin rolling tremors in the hands either on the right or left then you suspect Parkinson's disease. And if it is associated with the bradykinesia, it is associated with slowness of movements, finger movements or hand movements, then you suspect Parkinson's disease and, and again examine them more in more detail. There is any unilaterally, bilaterality and you examine for rigidity. But there is also some uh, another entity called familial essential tremors, where there are generations of uh, people in the families having tremors, which again can be one-sided or both-sided, but there these are more action tremors. They don't have resting tremors, but they have tremors when they hold objects, write, or do their normal activities like brushing or uh, uh, any other diurnal activities. If they do, the tremors become exaggerated. And again, it progresses over years. It's unlike Parkinson's disease where it progresses in months or a year. Here in essential tremors, it progresses in, in decades. Like uh, it increases uh, after 10 years or 15 years and all. And once it progresses, that again can get influence or, uh, or have an impact on their day-to-day -day activities. They have difficulty in writing, they have difficulty in signing checks or they have difficulty in performing normal activities. So the tremors can also progress in essential tremors. But again, we differentiate in terms of what is the type of tremors, whether it is resting tremors, whether it is action tremors, whether they are postural tremors, what is the frequency of the tremor, whether it is unilateral, bilateral, is it associated with other uh, motor symptoms. Uh, motor signs and then we classify them into just increased physiological tremors or essential tremors or Parkinson tremor. There are other rare types of uh, tremors like you have orthostatic tremors in the lower limbs, you have dystonic tremors, there's so many other types of uh, tremors but important is to see what is the uh, clinical presentation, associated motor features and then on examination findings we classify them.